Israel has chosen its targets in Gaza today selectively, but with devastating effect. Across Gaza, the homes of at least seven Hamas military officials were hit in massive explosions, regardless of who may have been inside. Israel repeatedly describes its attacks on Gaza as surgical strikes. This was a family home in the heart of Gaza City, which was flattened in an airstrike earlier this afternoon. Several civilians have been killed. Others are missing. Frantically, they dug for survivors. But no one could have come out of this alive. A senior Hamas official, Mohammed Dalou, and his entire family of 10 were killed here today. Sure, sure. If, uh, if, keep, if, if, if Israel keeps doing this with civilians, you will see more people die. Israel is targeting Hamas officials it accuses of hiding among civilians. But the number of civilians, particularly children, being killed or injured in the airstrikes enrages Palestinian feelings even more. At this house in the north of Gaza City, a one-year-old boy and his three-year-old sister were killed in an Israeli airstrike. Israel also hit two buildings where international and local media have their offices. One journalist had his leg blown off. Another justifiable attack said Israel because Hamas was using communication antennae on the roofs. No one knows when this will end, but more people were killed today than on any other day of this short, brutal conflict. Ura Davis, BBC News, Gaza.